Let's do this. Good morning, John. First, thank you so much for your video on Tuesday. Now, of course, we both recognize that we never want this channel to become like a current events and politics channel. But I also think that you are very, very good at making that type of video. And I came away from watching it being like, oh, I get things better. Sometimes I think that when we talk about politics here on Vlogbrothers that we are just making it worse, just deepening the echo chamber. That by spouting my liberal viewpoints, I'm chasing off everybody who might disagree with me and ending all opportunity for discourse. But look, I am me. I have my values and I have my worldview and I believe things. Like global warming is caused by people and it will be one of the biggest challenges humanity will ever face together. And it's ludicrous that we spent so much time denying the joy of marriage to people just because of the people they happened to love. And just like I think the government shouldn't have spent all those years discriminating against people because of their sexual orientation, I don't think that it should be legal for businesses to do that. And creating and feeding an irrational fear of people who want to come to America, just like my ancestors wanted to come to America because they believe in the same dream that we all believe in, I think that's an effective uh, but dangerous way to gain power. I believe that these things are true and that running the country while denying them is a bad idea. Do I want to drive away the people who disagree with me? No, but that doesn't mean that I'm not gonna say the things that I believe. I am me and I'm here to be all the parts of me that I want to be. I'm here for, to be silly, I'm here to be thoughtful, and I'm here to use the platform that I have to fight for the things I believe in. Not every day, but some days. I'm not here to insult the people who disagree with me because like, I want them to watch this more than anyone. But when I see things that I believe in, like human rights and objectivity and liberal democracy being threatened, I'm not gonna not talk about that. Last weekend, I went on Twitter and I offered to donate $5 to the ACLU for every person who submitted to me a hand-drawn message of support for immigrants and refugees. I got over 2,000 submissions, and some of them were just way above and beyond, just beautiful pieces of art. This weekend only, so from now until midnight on Sunday, some time zone, I'm not sure which, the artists of some of those works are selling them as posters at DFTBA.com. As part of President Trump's ban on all refugees entering the United States, federal funding to local organizations that help refugees find work and get training and uh, have access to like simple things that they don't have when they arrive in America because they basically have nothing like toothpaste and tampons has been eliminated. It just doesn't exist anymore. Uh, and those organizations now are not in a great place. So not only have we stopped helping people who want to come here, We've stopped helping people who are already here. That doesn't seem like a good idea. So 100% of the proceeds from the sale of these posters is gonna be divided up among a bunch of different organizations that do that very important and very good work. Because look, we can make a difference and we can work for the world that we wanna see. That isn't creating an echo chamber. That's creating change. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.